Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play. Welcome back to Let's Play. Final Fantasy. No, not Final Fantasy. What? Trails in the Sky, the third point. Oh my god. Let's go through the sewer. Because everybody loves a good sewer to run through. Oh, I really don't want to equip things or anything. I imagine there won't be chests or anything, right? Because why would there be chests? It's not. Oh, there are. There are chests? Why are there chests? Why do you. Do, it doesn't make any sense. Why do you do this to me? Oh, I should probably equip things. Oh, the effort it requires is so great. Uh, it seems we can just attack things. Oh, that's annoying. Man, my hands are so cold. Can the universe just not be cold? It's because it's like above zero now. What was the temperature again? It's five degrees, so... Oh. Which is good, sort of. But no, it's good because it's starting to get warmer, but it's just that the heater's not on so much. So it's cold and stuff. <sighs> Can the mouse cursor, like, fuck off, please? Like, could it go away? Does it have to be there? I keep moving it, but then, like, the mouse, like, moves a little, and then, like... Uh, what is happening? Why was I in the menu? What's going on? Oh, my God. Dum, dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I think my mouse is, like... It's on a flat surface! I don't know what his problem is! What if I put it upside down? Does that help? Here. Be upside down. Did it? Oh, what was that? Sadist whip! Sure, why not? Sadist whip. Sounds about right. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. Oh! That's the only one that she can do, apparently. Okay. Envelops an enemy in a fierce flogging storm. Oh, oh, I see. I can't even change her augments. And she only has this stuff, I guess because it's story related. That's funny. Okay. That's fine. Well, these enemies, though. Okay. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. And she has no arts either, which is interesting. Mmm. Da, 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 da. There's only one thing to attack right now. Oh, it's a cute moth thing. Oh, I like these things. They're cute. Got you. Ba, da, da, da. I like that she attacks with me. That's really nice. And I appreciate that, actually. Oh, God. Everything chasing. Ba, da, da. Oh, she has no EP either. That's interesting. Let's do that. Wait, is this a single attack? Okay, let's do this. Oh, just kidding. Let's not do that. Oh, oops. Rip. Bum 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 bada bum 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 bada dum bum ba dum ba da da bum ba da bum ba da dee da 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 Rum bum ba dum Oh rip Oh god Hello Da 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 Oh we should probably use items or something The Bell Kingdom mat Uh oh Oh, we might just go up levels though, so. Oh my god, there are too many. There's too many ways! <laughs> oh, hello. Tear bomb! I'm empty now, but when I was younger, adventurers couldn't keep their hands off me. Oh. oh okay. Tear bomb. So tell me, how effective was that expired medicine? <laughs> I will find that out, I guess. Oh, it turned around. Hello. Oh, bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Oh, oh okay. It's dead, I guess. 
<laughs> oh, were we done already? Oh, I've been in a circle. Okay. And everything respawned because I just went in there like a dumb. That's great. Good job, me. I'm guessing... Because we're only getting like tear bombs, so I'm guessing that the items are like just for this part of the story. Surely. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. I think this music is from the first game as well. It seems you came up short. I suppose so. Oops, hello. Oh. Oh. I'm fine. It's okay. Yeah, let's have an item. Here we go. Yay. I'm alive. These things are cute. Look at them. Dun dun dun. Oh, missed! Oh, rip! Is it, huh? <laughs> I guess these things have high evasion, which is annoying. They're gonna take forever to kill. Bum, 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 bada, bum, bum, bum. Let's do this. <laughs> Someone's been naughty. <laughs> there we go. Good job. This one. Oh, I hit it. Yay. Seems you came up short. I like her little. <laughs> I can't do it, but yeah. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Oh. Da 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 da. Oh, hello. We're taking our sweet time getting through this sewer. Surely they could have busted him by now. To the second half of the. Okay, hold on. Oh, I, I uh, have uh, have a uh, full HP. I must have gone up a level. Okay, that thing died today. Oh, are we done already? Oh, are we done already? <laughs> yes, we are. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, whoops, wrong way. Oh shit, this is thing's gonna be back now. Oh, run right away! I don't remember the way. There are too many ways. Oh! Da 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 da. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, how many ways do there need to be? Oh, the lead boy move. Oh. It's not budging? It's not budging? Hmm. Stay quiet for a minute, I'll handle this. Shares out removed a rock from the bottom of the device and placed her hand inside. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Well, that works, I guess. Wow, <laughs> you really are amazing. But not for this. This isn't all that different from breaking into a safe, to be honest. Really, though. You shouldn't be impressed by these kinds of things, or getting used to them. What? Jesus, why? There are some things in life you're just better off not knowing. Oh. Oh. I guess we're done here. <laughs> and some things you're better off not being able to do. Oh. Oh. What is that noise? Oh, God. The entire town smelled like a rotting open drain and was reviled even for a slum. The people who ended up there were largely those who couldn't be accommodated in a prison, those who had been driven out of the cities, or children who had been abandoned there like yesterday's garbage. 
I did whatever I had to in order to survive and to live to see another day, and live to see another day, and to live to see another day. Picking pockets at every opportunity was a habit I picked up from a very young age. Anything that caught my eye, I took. But even then, I didn't end up with enough to live on. There were always men there who made their living by taking from people like me. The surest way to make money was stealing from the safes of the rich. Safes of the rich, when they were out of their mansions. The residential area full of wealthy people on the other side of the river, accessible through an underground sewer, was a perfect target for this. Ah, hence the memories. Every time I felt hungry, I sneaked inside one of the mansions and made use of the skills I felt like I'd known since the day I was born. The most important thing to remember when doing this was not to take everything in one go. Sounds like Xenica's music. Instead, the key was to take only a small amount each time, enough to get by, but not enough for the mansion's owner to notice anything was gone. With a simple piece of wire, I had access to enough mirror to live for a couple more weeks. Before I knew it, I was doing it every day, building up a stockpile of money instead of simply taking what I needed in the short term. And boy, I paid the price for it. I had it all taken from me by the men of the slums and ended up being kicked and stomped until I coughed up blood. Oh shit, what the fuck? Everyone did what they did, or they said they did as much anyway, so that they could keep living on. Oh Jesus, hello! Oh, what the fuck? Always pretending to be desperate as an excuse to live by any means, but always taking the easiest road they could find. The town I lived in was devoid of energy, but full of filthy humans like them, and like me. Again and again I thought about giving it up. Again and again I said to myself that I wanted to stop, but I couldn't do it. I hated myself for what I was doing. I hated the fact that I couldn't stop. Oh. Oh. It was because I didn't want to return to that life that I ended up becoming a bracer. Because if I didn't, I was scared I would end up right back where I was. The troop had saved me from that place and had made me into a, into a respectable human being. But when I lost them, I was afraid. One thought stood out above all the rest. No matter how much I tried to forget, no matter how much... No matter how used I... How... How... how y y that's really hard to say in a sentence. How used I came to my new life. Okay. No matter how much I tried to deny it, I was yesterday's garbage from the slums. And nothing I could do would change that. And that's it, really. One day, I'm sure I'll end up returning there. That's why I need to be strong. To stay strong. That's why she pushes everyone away. Right. What job I do doesn't even matter. Anything I can pour my heart into that'll let me live an honest life is fine. Anything that keeps my mind off the past. Anything that lets me keep the ugliness of my heart at bay. If it makes me strong without relying on others, then it's fine. It's fine. I need to be strong. Stronger than anyone. STRONGER THAN ANYONE! But am I? Am I really doing alright in my new life? Am I really getting stronger? Am I, Lucy? Uh, oh. Miss Sherzad? Are you alright? You're looking very gloomy all of a sudden. It's nothing, I'm fine. As soon as I finish this job, Kurt will give me the last recommendation I need. And finally become a real bracer. Then no one will be able to tell me I'm not strong. I won't let them. I will be strong. Anyway, we're leaving. Uh oh. Wait, wait a second. Monsieur Zard. There's water noises. <laughs> as soon as I finish this job. Oh, we're up here now. Okay. Actually, we do get things from the from these doors into the game because we got that one re uh, <clears throat> rapier or whatever for um thingamajig somebody Chloe or something. So I don't. <laughs> Tear bomb, but or, or we're getting a tear bomb, so I don't know. If you wanted that badly, you could have asked. Uh oh, I did ask. Oh, no, that's a lie. Sorry. Okay. 
Where are the chests? Oh, this one. Nah, it's just tear bombs. Sorry, but the legendary item drops in another chest. Hmm. I assume these don't matter too much. I can always redo the door, I guess, if it, if I do need. <laughs> guess it's locked. I know it is. <laughs> Just shut up, you'll break my concentration. Oh, my bad. Mm. Sure as I took out a wire and inserted it into the keyhole. And we were there so long, the sun started to set. Bum, 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 bum. Phew, we're finally back on the surface. It's evening too. That took longer than I thought it would. We should hurry. Of course. Are you alright though? Hmm? What? You look kind of pale. Are you feeling tired? Maybe we should rest a little before moving on. I I'm fine. I've had enough training to handle this level of physical activity, thank you very much. Don't underestimate the stamina of a bracer. Uh, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, what the hell? She was never more than a few steps behind me at any given moment. How... How is she still fine? She never seemed out of breath even when we were being chased by those guys, come to think of it. I feel like there were a few times when she was even ahead of me. Hmm? What is up with this girl? Is this, like, nothing to her? Are you absolutely sure you don't need to rest? I do have a few snacks on me. Would you like me to share some? It's okay. I I'm definitely fine. Right now, we need to focus on getting to the guild so we can hide out there. Food breaks can wait. Oh, I, I wouldn't mind a food break. I might have run into a lot of trouble on the way, but the request was to show her around the capital. I've done that. Now all I need to do is get back to the guild and this request is done. I win. Come on. Get a move on. Uh oh. I still feel like it would be a good idea to rest at least a little, though. Are you sure you're alright? How many times do I need to repeat myself before you get the message? To hell with it all! Oh, it's um... To hell with it all! Yeah. Hide! I was up all night working that damn story. All night! Uh oh, who the hell does Natisha think she is? The bit of the scoop, the hotter it needs to be caught? Does she think I don't know that? Arr! What do you think he's talking about? I've got no more idea than you do. Ow. Ow, fuck. I'm okay. I injured myself. I'm alright. Ow, shit! Oh, God! Hold on. Sorry. One second here. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> so, I got like a little bit of my fingernail stuck under another fingernail. It was not a pleasant experience. <clears throat> Maybe he's using some kind of code like those men familiar. I don't think so. He couldn't be one of them, could he? D do you think he could be? Damn it all! I can't be sure. Just look at his eyes, though. He doesn't look like a man who makes an honest living to me. Nah, I see what you mean. We've come this far. There's no way I'm letting us get caught now. We need to proceed carefully and deliberately. Let's see if we can find another route. Da, 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 da. Ah, if I remember correctly, that house over there is empty. This way, follow me! Follow me! For Adios' sake, if I could get conclusive something something, I would have done it already! Conclusive evidence, maybe? You two patrol the area at the bottom of the stairs, I'll take the area at the top. Something something something. I'll read it when I'm editing. Yes sir, probably is what I said. Bah, guess I'm gonna have to call on Raymond again. Wait, he works at the villa now, doesn't he? Just my luck. That's ages away. Oh yeah, I need to go and get that damn camera back later too. Can't believe I had to shell out 3,000 meter for more photo calls because of that brat. I swear, this job is bad for my blood pressure. I need some more nicotine in me. <laughs> some more nicotine! <laughs> oh. 
Ow, I really hurt my finger. Holy fuck. Ow, oh, shit. I swear. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm okay. <laughs> it was such a tiny little bit, too. Ugh. Come on. Why are there still so many of them going around? How can we get to the guild like this? I think we're going to have to spend the rest of the night here, unfortunately. We won't need to come to that. I think if we can... If, I think if I can find a good opening, we can force our way through. It's just a case of finding one. I don't think that's a good idea. We need to be careful and rest while we can. As logical as that sounds, I'm not buying it to a real reason. Get a grip, Sherry. I can't let my emotions get the better of me. There's no guarantee we're even safe here, you know? I still think the safest option in the long run is to get to the guild, no matter what we have to do to get there. Hey, where do you think you're going? I love this theme so much. I think the second floor is a better place to rest than the first. We'll find it easier to escape from here than we will from below. This should be a good spot. Wait one damn minute. This is your safety we're talking about here. You could stand to listen to me. Those men will be patrolling carefully for the rest of the night. They aren't going to give you the opening you want. Or at least I don't believe they will. We've made it this far, so I think it would be best for us to rest tonight and resume trying tomorrow, don't you? <sighs> trying to do what? Pardon? You're still hiding something, aren't you? For one thing, you're awfully familiar with this city for someone who claims it's her first time here. You also seem to know a lot about those men and what they will and won't do, too. What exactly are you really after? Is she like a Grausritter or something? It's plain as day at this point that you want more than just not to be caught by them. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have asked to be shown around the capital. Not that I think that's what you want, either. What's your real goal? Well, no answer. The work we do is based around trust. We can't accept requests from people who won't tell us what they're up to, or who knows what kind of crimes, or or who knows what kind of kinds of crimes we could be abetting. Go on. The whole thing about that inheritance was all a big fat lie, wasn't it? Something about you'd been setting off alarms, and something about you'd something about you had been setting off alarms since we started running around together. Strike that. <clears throat> Strike that. Since you first came to the guild. Why did you lie to me? Uh, uh <laughs> The story about the inheritance is true, I swear it. I, I want to go to Grantel Castle. I really am the one to whom my grandfather gave his fortune. But I haven't finished the necessary procedures to truly inherit it yet. Until I complete the required paperwork in Grantel Castle's administrative room, I'm not legally allowed anything. And that's why there's so many of those men in black around that area. All of my relatives know exactly what I need to do, you see. So they're trying to make sure I can't do it. Still, if I don't keep trying to move forward, I'll... What a mess. Well, okay, for argument's sake, let's assume that I believe all of what you just said. Why am I only hearing about it now? Uh, that is... You thought I'd want it on, the money t on that money, didn't you? If I did and I knew everything, I'd have all the opportunities a greedy girl could dream of to take it when together with you. That's what you thought I'd do, isn't it? I'd play along and then steal it all for myself the second a chance presented itself. Do I look like that much of a scumbag to you? No, no, you don't. That's not it at all. After I lost grandfather, I lived all on my own. But the second his will became public, I had crowds of people descending upon me. People who, like you said, were interested only in claiming his fortune for themselves. That's weird, like, that's not how inheritance works. They all started to live in mine and my grandfather's house, and before I knew it, my once peaceful life was shattered. That's fucking weird. One day, someone would push me down the stairs- Oh. One day, someone would push me down the stairs, another I'd taste something funny in my food. These kinds of things began happening on a regular basis. Legally, they were my relatives while I was a minor, so they- Ah, so there was very little I could do. I tried reasoning with them at first, but in the end I had no choice but to leave home myself. I wandered the highways alone, going from place to place and trying not to be discovered. 
but I knew that while they could hopefully avoid being caught that way, I'd eventually just be declared as missing and presumed dead. Besides, after I'd left once, even if I did go back home, I knew I'd promptly be locked up somewhere and reported as still missing regardless. It was terrible. Grandfather's will would be declared as invalid in time, and my relatives would blissfully share their newly bequeathed wealth between them. I hated the thought of that happening. That was why I decided to return her to the capital. Even if it's the last thing I do, I will formally inherit what he wanted me to. Why do you have to go to the castle for that, though? That was why I tried. I decided to try and get an escort from someone I could trust. So it's not that I don't think I can trust you, not at all. A and, uh, I will admit that wanting to explore the capital is a lie. I'm sorry for deceiving you. <sighs> You're a great A moron. I'm sorry. You could have said all this from the beginning and saved us a lot. A lot headache. If I had known what you were trying to do, I would have been able to formally escort you where you want to go. And the guild would have been the safest place for you to hide out, too. We wouldn't have ended up in this dump instead. I suppose you're right. I, I was just... scared. I'll never be able to forget what I saw that day. Her hair reminds me of Ramen. I just thought I'd mention that. What I saw in the eyes of everyone who gathered to hear that will re that will re what? What I saw in the eyes of everyone who gathered to hear that will read. Let's make any sense. The horror I felt when I saw it. Madness, insanity, cold, murderous light. Emotions that no one can explain, that no one can put into words. It wasn't visible for long before they managed to push it back below the surface and out of sight. But it was still there. Because now, I believe that's something that all of us possess naturally. Human beings are capable of limitless cruelty. Every one of us. I don't know if that's true, but okay. And that realization's left me terrified of us all. It's not that I don't trust braces. It's just that I've been so scared. I I'm so sorry. I know I shouldn't have wasted your time with any of this. Um, I... I should never have gotten you caught up in all this when you were busy enough already. Just forget that I... Listen. Huh? It's my policy to give 100% to all work I undertake. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. I've wanted to be strong and to live with my head held high. I still believe I was right to feel that way, and yes, I've lived my hardest until now. But you've made me notice that there's something wrong with my attitude. I'm not going about it the right way. And it's made me realize in you that I want to be able to keep living with pride in my every step. So no more saying sorry, okay? I want to see this job through to the very end. Oh, oh. So where was it in Grand Star Castle that we needed to, that we need to go again? The administrative room. The deadline for submitting the paperwork is noon. Ah, oh, I see now. N noon? Noon today? That barely leaves us any time at all. Why are you only telling me this now? It has to be filed within a month of the deceased passing away. There's a law here in the bill, apparently. Alright, oh, I never was much good at this legal stuff. I bet Kurt knows it all by heart, though. He did seem like the type who might. <laughs> yes, that's hilarious. Let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. As long as we do, as we discussed earlier, we should be able to handle this. We're getting inside the castle and they're not going to stop us. Monsieur Zard, I really am glad that you were the one who undertook my request. The more time I spend with you, the more I realize you're really someone dependable who relies on their own strength to live. You're blowing my marriage out of proportion, I think. Also, can we stop with the Miss Sherazard now? The way you say it, it just makes my name sound ridiculously long. D does it? It does. It feels like our conversations take twice as long as they should because of it. Oh, well, if you insist. And now you know all there is to know about what I want to do. So I would like to formally request again that you escort me to Grand Star Castle. You got it. You'll get there, I promise you that. Thank you. Da da, let's save the game. And I'll see you next time. Let's play Trails in the Sky Third Blind. Bye bye.